Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our Intimary Dimensions Duke Madness 4 video, episode 28, and you can see I have well over 8,192 infinity points. I'm just gonna get right into this, go into automation, just, I'm actually just gonna export just in case, for whatever reason, it costs more than 8,192 to get all the way, get this all the way down to 0 0.1, and boom, I did it. Which, be which means that I have finally unlocked Break Infinity. Which means, well, you probably know what it means. It means I can go past E3 away and it's a matter. So, yeah. It looks like this new dimension is actually E1100. Or not, not E1100, it's E1777 for some reason. And I guess it's time to... I'm At first, I'm just going to see what I can... Do I, I can get this upgrade uh, for it's not that expensive. That's the only one I can get here. So the break infinity upgrades, they look the same as in New Game Minus 3. These are still the same. Let's just see how far I can get. I'm, I'm going to disable the automatic big crunch. I'll, I'll just disable all automation right now just to see what I, what I can do at this point. So five galaxies... Um, get time dimension shifts. Oops. Um, let's get up to 14. And then I think that will... Uh, no, just a couple more dimension boosts. And this will get me to the 6th galaxy. So I'm not exactly sure how far beyond like in infinity I'm going to get. Or E3 weight. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get that far beyond. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure how worth it's, it's going to be. So 19 dimension boost. If I... 19 time dimension boost. Let's see if I'm getting any more. I am getting significantly more infinity points. So it does seem kind of worth it. And the thing is with like post infinity. Is that like these costs will start increasing faster. That's, that's how inflation doesn't happen even though inflation is much less of a concern in new game minus four or even new game minus three as it is in the vanilla game but you can see i'm just gonna i'm actually gonna try to push all the way to e346 antimatter so i can get a whole lot of tick speed boost or actually no the next antimatter galaxy is 195 eighth dimensions because for whatever reason i'm really not sure why this is a thing there's remote antimatter galaxies, which is a scaling you normally see in, the, in very late in the vanilla game. So here is the Tixie boosts, and yeah, it just resets everything. It's not really that as big of a deal as it was before. Doesn't really look like I'm gonna get very far. You can see I'm I'm not getting I'm I'm getting up to maybe around E three sixty antimatter, which I mean I. That is, that is a lot, but it's also not really all that much. I can't even get much beyond this amount of antimatter. Like, that, like that's why this really isn't all that big of a deal. Maybe Break Infinity is just weaker than I thought it was originally. Or it's, it's just weak in general. I mean, I guess I'm, I can get more infinity points out of it, but like in the vanilla game... You can get like all the way to. Also, this is interesting. For whatever reason, I can't purchase the time dimensions past E three oh eight, or at least with the eighth one. Same with all the others. That is very strange. So it looks like I'm capped at twenty two time dimension boots, which actually could be a good thing because that will mean that the automation that I have will not like time dimension boost randomly. I I will actually get this seventh galaxy. It looks like I can just barely get it. I don't really think this is gonna make a big difference at all, but it may do something. So let's just see how, how much I can just get quickly and then get up to well not even 22 time dimension boost. Just get get up to 21 Still to do these one by one. I'm really wishing there's an achievement that you can get two. And if I get Tixie boosts, I kind of just want to get the 22nd dimension boost first so I can cap this at 
a 22 time dimension boosts and then a couple more dimension boosts I can get all the way up to 200 eighth dimensions this looks like about the last reset or the the last tech seed boost I can actually do and it looks like I will be capped at around e400 antimatter so like in the middle of the game after break infinity you can easily get to like e700 antimatter so yeah, this is definitely a little weaker, but it's just good to see where I can even get. And like, also, galaxy points. That's another thing. I can, I can get up to E8 galaxy points easily, and if I'm getting, I know I'm getting like 3% of galaxy points, or maybe not 3%, maybe it's 1% of galaxy points every second. It was some, one of these achievements does it, and I know it's somewhere. But I, I don't know why I, I, I really forgot which one it was. Also, apparently, I should have more galaxy upgrades. It says, like, unlock more, more galaxy upgrades at infinite antimatter. And, well, I am beyond that. So yet, there's no new galaxy upgrades. Maybe I have to reload. That's probably what I'm going to do. I reloaded and nothing new happened. Usually, reloading is, like, a common change you can your common thing you can do to fix the bugs but no this didn't work i mean i guess i have a lot more antimatter i can i can do another reset but i really don't think it's a lot worth it i'm just going to i'm just going to get my automation going back again but i'm going to set automatic amount of, or amount of infinity points to wait until reset maybe at like 12 instead of 8 which should be a little bit faster and i could try to get Oh, sub one minute infinity because this would complete another achievement row, which would be pretty nice. What else could I do? I could, I could try going for no, no claustrophobic is just not going to be possible, unfortunately. And I, this I would really want this. I can actually buy time dimensions beyond the three way antimatter with this, and I could also try this big crunch without having any eighth dimension. So actually, I I'm I'm, I'm going to try that. But I need to go now, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back too long later. You can see how many infinity points I have. I probably, maybe I can get something in Break Infinity. No, I can't even get anything. I think what I was trying to do is I'm trying to get an infinity time under one minute and also just trying to get the achievements. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable, well, I'm going to disable all my auto buyers. That'll kind of be dumb. The thing is, like, which achievement do I want to get? The first one I want to get is forever is not long. My fastest infinity is one minute in two seconds. So I should easily be able to get that achievement. So I, I guess I don't want to disable all my auto buyers. I probably just want to um, dis disable my galaxy. Not, not my galaxies. I should keep my big crunch auto buyer. Just do one. But maybe I should disable like the automatic dimension boosts and automatic tick speed boosts maybe. So, I'll, I'll, I'll actually, honestly, I, I'm just going to disable everything and only enable, well, actually, well, I want my dimensions all, dimension auto buyers and tick speed auto buyer and sacrifice auto buyer. And I think that is going to be good if I'm going for a fast infinity. Right, here we go. Um, here, here we go. So, I, I, I got to go fast. I'm up to three galaxies, or, yeah, three gal four galaxies. I can probably get up to like 10 time dimension shifts probably, like this, I'm guessing. Oh, it did reset my dimension boost. No, I'm up to 5 galaxies. Come on, I can do this. I have no idea how many dimension boosts I even have. Um, I have 17, I can go up to 17 here. Oh, there, there's the next galaxy. I can, I can probably safely go all the way up to like 15 time dimension boosts. Because I'm just pressing D the whole time, so I can bulk dimension boost. I can probably get away with one set of Tixie to boost like this, and just buy these fast. I have like a whole bunch, and okay, boom. What? How short was it? It was 44 seconds long. So that was that was actually really quick. So this means I start with E10 antimatter, and I get another row of achievements, which is I think the row is honestly nicer. Now zero deaths is probably impossible unless I use challenge 3 and I mean I do gain more passive galaxy points based on your galaxy points and I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel guilty using the challenge 3 exploit 
because this is just for the achievement and that you this exploit can exist in the vanilla game. But the thing is that faster than a potato is impossible, like with some of the other New Game Minus X mods. What I think is possible is um, this one, Big Crunch without having any eighth dimension. So what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my automation like fully on except for my Big Crunch auto buyer, oh and the um, Galactic Sacrifice auto buyer. So what is this gonna do? I'm, this is just gonna do a normal run. I'm gonna hold D down to make it a little faster. Um, and hopefully I will be able to reach infinity. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to disable my eighth dimension auto buyer so I can reach infinity without any, or throughout any eighth dimensions. Okay. I've even, okay. I, you can see the big crunch button appearing. I even got some Tixie boosts. So maybe it is time to, you can see just how, how, Farm I'm getting here. So what I'm going to do, I'm I'm going to disable my eighth dimension auto buyer. Hopefully I can just buy a um, dimension boost. It's okay right here. So okay, boom. I have reached infinity without any eighth dimensions. So the reward is dimensions one to seven or two times stronger. This is a decent reward actually. Now I could try to go for claustrophobic, but that is going to be that's like really hard. But the reward is really good. I can buy 10 dimensions beyond E308 antimatter. I mean, maybe that's actually a bad reward because I don't want my time dimensions to just reset everything. So what I can do, I'm actually, I, I could try to go for it, but I may end up just opting out if I, even if I can reach it. I'm just going to see how far I can get. So I'm going to disable automatic galaxies, enable automatic 8th dimension, and just see how far I can even get. Um, oh yeah, of course, I need to enable automatic time engine boost, except, wait, it, it only activates at four galaxies, so you, you see that I'm not getting anywhere close to infinity. Like, I'm, I'm stuck at about E180 antimatter. I can't really reach infinity with one galaxy. That That's okay. I'm guessing I'll be more ready for that achievement, the reward once I actually, like, once I'm farther in the game, this, this reward will be even better, because I, can, I can't I can even reach much beyond E3 with Antimatter anyway. Time Dimension Boosts may just be more of a nuisance. I could try to get a couple of other achievements, though, and I'm going to keep the automatic Big Crunch Auto Buyer disabled, because I'm going to get this, I'm going to try to get this one. Get all of your Dimension Auto Buyer bulk buy multipliers to 5 or 12 or higher. If you look here, they're all at 64 times, so this is just to get the next one, and it would only cost maybe about 1 million galaxy points, and I can easily get up to like tens of millions of galaxy points. This achievement has no reward, but I guess it's something. This one I can't reach, this one I can't reach, this one I can't reach, this one I could theoretically reach if I tried to go for the challenges again, but uh, the reward is kind of lame. This one I cannot reach. This one I maybe I can reach. Um, no, I need E1080 antimatter to, for this achievement. And then this I could I could try to do this one. No, I, I can't. Oh no, I, I can. I'm, I don't have to reach infinity. I just need to reach galaxy. That was the point where I can galactic sacrifice. So I also could go for how the anti tables have turned. I'm surprised I don't have this one yet. I could. It, it's an easy one to get and honestly this reward is going to make it so much harder to get this because it increases the first dimensions multiplier by five times while this makes where you need the multiplier to be the highest on the eighth dimension for the anti-tables achievement so i could just try to go for the anti-tables achievement like right now like if i just take speed boost disable automatic dimension boosts and then, of course, all of these auto buyers, except the eighth dimension auto buyer. Except even that may be weird because I'm going to be getting a galaxy. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to um, take speed boost. I'm going to hold M just so I can get the dimension boosts I want. Um, okay, 21. Okay, this is good. This this will be the last dimension boost I'm getting here. So now I got to do just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Um, you can see the first dimension is already way more powerful than all the others. It's because of this infinity upgrade. It's um, the... Where, where is it now? Not the brick infinity one. The, the first dimension gets a multiple based on unspent infinity points. And you can see this is where dilation effect is really becoming crazy. Because this is only like four orders of magnitude above all the other multipliers. Even though this says... Um, and not, not here. Even though this says 4e18. Because the dilation effect essentially... Like, not square roots, but it raises your the exponent to the 0.75 power. So, and ooh, actually, I'm, I may not be able to get anti-tables. Yeah, I'm not able to get anti-tables. I, I thought it was possible, but no, it's not. Because of just how weird, how weirdly this, this game works. I think it would be more possible if possibly, like, I... I got rid of a lot of my infinity points, but you can see like this 1.5 times multiplier, it's more like a 1.2 or 1.3 times because of dilation nerfs. So unfortunately, I can't get that, and I'm a little weary of tr of getting this achievement, because this is just going to make anti-tables so much harder. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to set the automation back on like normally, set this to like 12 infinity points. This seems normal. And I'm thinking next episode I'm going to try to go for some of these achievements. Because they're definitely going to help things. Things are really slow right now. I feel like it's resetting too much. Why is it resetting? Is, do I have some weird automation thing going? No? I don't, I don't know why I can't reach anything. What is it even resetting? Is it just, it can, it's not even buying time dimension boost. Oh no, it's, it's it's reset. It's doing automatic galactic sacrifices. Yeah, don't don't do that. Automatic galactic sacrifices are like always bad. But wait, I have enough galaxy points that I can I can get three times. I can get all these bulk purchases so I can get bulked up. So I'm just gonna get those, and at least I got that achievement out of the way. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.